Let me quickly bring in Sana Hashmi and Ambassador Ashok Sachar Hari for this conversation. Uh, Sana Hashmi, how do you see this American statement? Vice Admiral uh, Karl Formal says this cannot become the new normal. What is it that Taiwan can do? What is it that Taiwan expects of the United States of America? So I, we have been seeing a lot of statements from the U.S. since the very first day, but I feel that this statement is uh, very different, and particularly because it's coming from a military personnel. And then I think we have to see the nature of this statement. He said that if uh, we don't contest it, it becomes a norm. And he also mentioned the South China Sea. So I think we also have to focus on South China Sea here, that the Taiwan Strait doesn't become South China Sea, where China has an upper hand. Uh, in fact, all these test, missile tests, I, it, it has been happening and it's actually a routine and periodic activities to show that the U.S. nuclear deterrent is safe. But I think why it is particularly important this time is that we have to see the timing of the test. It happened yes. in July as well and then uh, it was uh, apparently targeted against Russia and China. But now if we look at it today, uh, it was uh, done when China began its after China began its preliminary light fire drills and uh, it, it's been a long time, but now China is trying to establish a new normal. And uh, this has become very clear to US, to Taiwan. And I think this is one of the reasons why US did it. And I think this is one of the major okay. concerns of Taiwan as well as US, that we have to deter China from establishing a new normal. China must be deterred from establishing a new normal. I just come to the Minuteman 3 exercise, uh, Mr. ICBM firing in just a moment, but Ambassador Sachin Hart, I want to restrict our conversation for the moment uh, to the statement made by Vice Admiral Carl Thomas, uh, the U.S. Uh, Seventh Fleet Commander. When he says the gorilla in the room is firing missiles over Taiwan, it must be contested. China's irresponsible, China's unprofessional. What is he telling China? What's he telling Taiwan? How can the U.S. and Taiwan deal with the gorilla in the room? Yeah, you're very right, uh, Gaurav. Uh, this statement is very significant. The statement is very relevant because I think the uh, both uh, the uh, American uh, strategic community as well as the international strategic community has been seeing that, uh, you know, the response of China, the uncalled for uh, escalation that China has resorted to after Nancy Pelosi's visit, there has to be a response from the United States. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, what uh, China has done in South China Sea in terms of uh, uh, militarizing, uh, first of all, occupying islands, uh, contested islands, which according to UNCLOS uh, 1982 belong to other countries. First, okay. it has occupied them, then it has militarized them, then it has uh, created artificial islands. So we will have something similar, meaning if uh, the actions of China in the South China Sea had been contested at the time in 2016. In 2015, yes. you recall when Xi Jinping had gone to Washington, D.C., he had made a commitment to President Barack Obama that there is going to be no militarization. And it has gone back on those words. So, number one, China cannot be trusted in terms of what it says. You know, it, uh, uh, what it says and what it does on the ground is totally different. Now, what yes. it has done, uh, as far as the Taiwan Straits are concerned, it is trying to sort of pile up pressure on Taiwan. I think uh, I'll just make two very brief points here, uh, uh, Gaurav. One is that by sending this delegation by Congressman Ed Markey, I think uh, the United States has taken a very important step, saying that okay. it is not going to be cowed down by what China is doing. 